know she will not have a nose. <laughs> <It's disappearing. laughs> Literally. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. We've got the gorgeous Bernice here. She's a lovely <laughs> model from Western Sydney. I'm going to leave her handle up here and down below. So if you want to check her out, please make sure you do. I'm going to put a little photo up here of the look we're going to create. So let's get to it. So I'm just putting some primer on her eyelids with a fluffy brush. I'm just going to list everything below, but I'm going in with two bronzers. And I'm just very lightly popping that on top of her crease. She does have a bit of hooded eyes, but that won't stop us from creating the look. We're just going to be modifying it to her eyes. So now I'm taking this black shade from Makeup Revolution on this very flat brush. And I'm just going to be packing that on her lid. I'm not going to create a wing just yet because like I said, she's got a bit of hooded eyes. So we don't want it to look bad. Now we are going to smoke it out, but I'm not going to do it just yet. Go ahead and look down for me. If you want uh, my video on different wing liners for hooded eyes, I'll leave it up here for you. Now I'm taking this really defined tapered brush and we're just going to be blending this whole thing out. So now I'm going back in with this different definer brush. It's much more smaller. And I'm taking some black and I'm going to be very lightly blending where we just blended just to give it a bit more darkness. Go back and forth with the brush that has no product on it and just really lightly blend. Then I go in with a dark brown shade and I'm taking it on that brush that has no product on it and I'm very lightly going to blend where we blended everything out. It just gives it a very nice gradient effect. And now I'm taking this pencil brush and I'm very lightly blending the two together and I'm blending it outwards. I don't want to blend it in. So I'm literally just taking that and blending this way. This has no product. So I'm just going to go in with some individual lashes. I personally love these and I'm going to go in with long and I'm actually going to put them across her whole eye. Usually I only do like long at the outer corner, but she's already got really long lashes. So it will be fun to play with that. Now I don't have a lot on as you can see, and I usually start to apply it in the center of the face and then I spread it out. Something that I've been loving lately is taking a little brush and I just pat everything in. I know it's a whole face so it might take longer but I feel like you get more precision when you are doing this with a little brush. This is my favorite palette in the whole world. It's the RCMA palette. I've got basically every shade. This is perfect for every single skin tone. It's good for foundation and contour. So I'm gonna be using this and concealer. I'm gonna be using this for her concealer and her cream contour. I like to use like a color corrector. So I'm also gonna apply a bit there around her mouth. So I'm taking this fluffy brush and we're just going to start blending everything out. I like to start blending from the bottom before I make my way to the top. The reason I like to blend the bottom is to make sure that it blends really nicely with her foundation. So do you see how you can't really see the difference? That's the whole goal here. The same fluffy brush, I'm taking this contour shade. I want to be just applying it to here. So just a bit above her actual jawline. Now, because she does have slightly more of a rounder face, I'm going to be doing a little trick to give you more of a sculpted look, which is you just do a very light stroke right there. Now, what that does is when you look straight, see how it just gives you more of like that schnizzled. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I know. It's all a little trick. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to really contour her nose because her nose is so little, but I'm just going to put a little bit here and that's it because I feel like if we contour her nose, she will not have a nose. <laughs> <It's disappearing. laughs> Literally. And we don't want that. It's already so cute. So now I'm going to blend her contour. Now how I'm going to do it is I'm going to be blending upwards. You never want to blend down. And with this side here, I like to blend flick side and up. So like that. Because if we blend it this way, I don't want to like ruin this beautiful section. You know what I mean? Because that's the hollowness. So we're going to be blending and flicking up. Just like so. And I'm using the same brush. I'm just using a very light hand. With the contour, I'm just doing very little circular motions. Now I'm using the nude stick and I am gonna go a bit ham with the blush. I like to put it on the back of my hand just so it really warms it up. Now with her blush, I am putting it on top of her contour. I'm not bringing it past this bottom of her eye. The bottom of her eye? 
the end of her eye. There we go. <laughs> like that doesn't make sense. So I'm just literally doing it in circular motions and bringing it back. Do you see how that just lifted the face? Mm. And we still have no powder on. This is all just cream product. Going in with my Laura Mercier. Because <laughs> that's a trusted one. <laughs> And I'm just dabbing that under her eyes. Now I'm going back in with the two Fenty bronzers that I used on her eyes. And I'm just gonna very lightly touch up her face. So I'm just using dabbing motions. So I'm going in with this Makeup Revolution palette. I actually love this palette. It's actually super pigmented. I'm taking these four shades here very lightly, stamping that on. So I'm using this small foundation brush and a little trick I like to do is I just go over the edges of everything I applied and it just blends everything out more seamless. And this is why I also like a little brush so I'm more precise on where I'm applying everything. I'm just putting this right under her lash line. So, so tight. So I'm like basically just pressing this on. Now when I get to the outer corner, I'm kind of connecting the two. So I'm gonna just cut her lashes and put some mascara on so I'm just gonna really speed through after through this, throughout this, oh my god. Just gonna do her eyebrows, now this is gonna change the whole look because eyebrows change everything. I like to keep them very natural but fluffy, so I just start from the bottom and draw a very thin line. Let's finish off with her lips. I'm going in with Gerard Cosmetics Mudslide and then I'm going in with Nude. Well, <laughs> so do nice. you like it? Yes. I'm obsessed. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this makeup look. I thought it'd be something fun. Keep slaying and subscribe, my queens, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!